can't keep doing stuff with, without, it should be a fair trial, that's my right. You shouldn't be able to do things without my knowledge. And then pass it off to the jury like that's fair. They deserve to know that too. Mr. Brooks, you are well aware that the reason documents are being, being put on the witness I don't consent to being caught that name. ...are because this court indicated it would limit the movement of the parties due to your custodial status to keep things fair. And I you merely asked how did it get there. Sir, do not, not interrupt me or I'm you will forfeit your rights to, to be present how it got there? in this courtroom. So you hold me in contempt? Me. Are you holding me in contempt? I'm going to make a record. Are you holding me in contempt? I'm not answering your questions. So then you're not holding me in contempt. Do not interrupt me again or you will go to the other courtroom. Under what lawful law? All right. He's interrupted me once again. Um, we're going to clear the courtroom. He's being disrespectful. I'll make a record once he moves. Unless you can promise me right now that you let me make my record without you interrupting me, sir. You gonna make your record? You can make your record. Then please don't interrupt me. Don't hold me in contempt. I've never said any such thing. Removing me from the courtroom, Your Honor, is essentially holding me in contempt. All right. No, you're forfeiting your right to be present under Illinois versus Allen. I didn't forfeit anything. I will, I'm going to start talking, and if he interrupts, then I will close this courtroom, and he will be taken to the next courtroom. Mr. Brooks, you are well aware that the court made some pretrial uh, rulings related to whether there would be – they can stay in. I haven't closed it yet. He's not interrupting me. Whether the parties could – approach the witness stand and I did that because you're in custody and I'm not going to allow you to approach the witness stand while in custody. Um, that is why uh, various precautions have taken place uh, to limit frankly that from happening. Um, throughout this trial um, there was one instance at the very beginning of the case where I allowed the state to approach a witness. I corrected that. That hasn't happened since. We've had bailiffs take items up to the witness stand, or the items have been given to the witnesses, or they've been placed on the witness stand. That's proper. There is nothing uh, wrong about that. Nobody's trying to pull a fast one over you. No one is doing something that's not permitted uh, by this court, or frankly, under the rules of decorum and courtesy or the presentation of evidence in this case. Frankly, from my perspective, sir, your attempts and your comments are to try to dig in at this jury and to somehow create doubt about the presentation of this case or the fairness of these proceedings uh, without the party, meaning the state, having an opportunity to refute, explain, or correct it. I've taken the jury out at this point to admonish you that any further mumbling under your breath um, or not recognizing when I uphold or sustain an objection that I will take as a disrupting interruption meant to disrupt the proceedings. I'm not holding you in contempt. I'm well aware that that's one of my options. I choose not to do it for the reasons that I've stated on the record previously. All right, you can forfeit your right to be present at any point in time during this trial by your conduct under Illinois versus Allen. When it is disruptive, when it uh, does not follow the simple rules of courtesy and decorum, I draw your attention once again to SCR chapter 62, um, which has been previously provided to you, which is under the statute there. Um, these constant mumbling and interruptions for the during the proceedings i haven't made a record of them today but i will now started at 901 then there was five at 902 three at 903 four at 904 one at 905 sorry two at 905 one at 906 uh three at 908 again at 917 927 1031 105 there was talking over by you at 203 five interruptions at 214 
215, 217, at 219, um, audible muttering, 231, 233, what I would describe as inappropriate, like muttering under your breath, 235, at 306, there was a hilarious comment, at 311, there was what I would describe as arguing about the muttering and the irony of it all, at 312, there were four interruptions, at 337, um, more 409, 410, more mumbling, at 411, twice, and at 412, um, nine very, uh, different times. So, I think I've made an ample record of the disruptions today. I've been abundantly patient with you. Um, I've, again, as I stated earlier, I've even limited how I tell these things to the jury about how to disregard, and I simply say the jury is to disregard comments and statements made by the parties or the lawyers as those are not evidence. So I'm warning you, do not interrupt again when if this jury comes back or when they come back and you do that, uh, then uh, you will be removed and you will forfeit your right to be present for the examination of this witness. Let's bring the jury back in. Well, well you might as well remove me then because you, what you're doing is, is, is not fair. I can't even rebut what you're saying. I didn't interrupt you. I let you make your incorrect record. Mr. Brooks, I'm bringing the jury out and we're continuing. We're going to get through these witnesses. Okay? And I'm not stopping you through from doing that. Through your behavior, you're not going to delay these you, proceedings today. I'm not trying we're to delay continue. the proceedings. So I wish you would stop being incorrect on the record and saying what I'm trying to do if you don't know that. You don't Mr. know Brooks, what I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm bringing the jury out. I'm not going to argue with you. Then, so. then don't. Because I'm not arguing with you either. I'm stating facts. You're raising your voice. It's because very I'm, I'm, I'm tired of you always making a record. At me. You're making a record of me trying to look bad. I know what you're trying to do. It's not going to work. Well, I'm making a record of what's accurately. You're being making done a record of incorrect statements. That's what you're doing. You're not making a record of Mr. not Rose, being. I'm able. advising you to be quiet because the jury's coming back. You're out. advising me to be quiet. Is you telling I'm me to be quiet? You to be respectful when the jury. Are you comes telling out. me to be quiet or are you asking me? I'm asking you and advising okay. you. Okay, thank you for correcting that, because don't nobody tell me what to do. I don't tell nobody else what to do. I'd appreciate we're all you. In, we're all adults in here. I've never told yelling, you to sir. do anything at all. Lord, sir, I'd appreciate if your tone of voice would change. I, I would appreciate if you would ask me. I'm a grown man with grown kids. Don't nobody Ain't nobody going to talk to me like that. Nobody. I don't have a problem with doing what you ask me to do, not tell me. Just like when I ask you about subject matter jurisdiction that you have yet to prove on the record. But somehow I'm being intentionally disruptive. Of, uh, come on, man. Stop. Just stop it. Jury's right. coming out. All right for the jury. Not going to work. I'm supposed to be scared again, removed or something. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. Statement continue its examination of this witness. I believe we're on Exhibit 117. Yes, we have 117. Madam Clerk, would you please turn the display back on? <coughs> Mr. Johnson, were there other items on the front passenger seat besides the blue winter hat? Objection leading. Overruled, the witness may answer. 